And we want to welcome Orange County Mayor Jerry Demis. Mayor, always good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for always inviting me to be on the show. So I got to tell you, I heard good reviews at the State of the County address. They said that you were very, the performance was very good. So you've given that, you gave a lot of information. How important is it to get, get all that stuff out and say, here's what we're doing, here's where we're going? Well, what it was all about was uh, building a community together. That was the theme. And what I wanted to do was involve every segment of the community from our seniors to our students uh, to our business community and the military even and we were able to do that and so I wanted it to be a very natural feel for not just me for but for everyone that attended in the audience. We had talked before we sat in your office about the need to improve transportation that was the one thing that came out of this as well that you want the one cent tax increase which would be in Orange County for for Lynx and for Sunrill as well. We don't have a a lot of options for new multimodal systems of transportation, but the wave of the future is that we have got to do a better job of getting people out of cars and into some type of mass transit systems. The reason why people don't take our local bus system is it's not convenient for them. So in order to make it more convenient, we have to increase connectivity. We have to increase the frequency of our buses uh, running throughout the uh, community. And so in order to do that, that's going to cost some money. We'll likely look at uh, dedicated bus rapid transit lanes where buses will move uh, uh, throughout the community. For the last several years, Lynx has seen a uh, decline year over year in terms of ridership. And so we know that ridership alone cannot pay for the type of services that we really need as a community. But every day, people feel the pain of the congestion that we see on our roadways. And so I hear it uh, almost every day from our constituents. Of Mayor, what are you going to do about it? Well, we have a plan, but we're going to take it to the community, get community input. And if we are able to pass this, uh, all of our municipalities will be able to benefit from it. And even the average person, I want the average person to be able to benefit from having a new transportation uh, interconnected system. And taxes are lower when you compare to Hillsborough County and compared to Seminole County, still lower in Orange County, although you never want to raise taxes. When you put it in comparison, is that one of the arguments we're still lower than some other places? I am not going to raise property taxes during my tenure as, as mayor, but the sales tax is a good way to be able to uh, finance what needs to be done here. Uh, we have the lowest sales tax really in the entire region, one of the lowest in the entire state of Florida, and so there's some money there that I think is on the table and the good news is that uh, about 50 percent of those who will pay for the sales tax will come from outside of the area the tourists and others who come to visit here so I feel like uh, it's a win-win for our citizens but we're going to take our time explain the process explain what we're going to spend the dollars on to our citizens and get their input before we finalize the plan of action were there other options of maybe moving money from here to there did you look at those and it just wasn't going to be doable based on the money you needed? There's not a lot of options for us. Yeah. We have many social challenges because of a growing community. We're growing by a net of 1,000 new residents uh, in Orange County alone each week. The region grows by a net of about 1,500 new uh, residents each week. And so with that tremendous growth, it creates pressure. And so with our budget uh, to meet the needs of some of the social challenges like homelessness and dealing with children related issues uh, by having this dedicated funding source to support transportation it relieves uh, the pressure on our other uh, buckets of uh, funding uh, for our entire county itself and so that's why I'm kind of an advocate for it I believe this is the right thing to do at the right time and this would be something that eventually it's got a few steps would be on the November 2020 ballot so the next president's election there they would vote on this now this failed in the past but it's been a long time ago in a different form it has failed in the past. We've studied uh, why it failed in, back in 2003, but we've also studied uh, different communities around the nation. Almost every metropolitan area has some type of uh, transportation surcharge in their community. We've studied the ones who have been successful, the ones that have failed. We've looked within Florida. Uh, almost every urban county in Florida now has some type of transportation surcharge. And so we've uh, studied what happened in Hillsborough 
world uh, last November. And so there are really lessons uh, learned from all of those processes. And we understand what happened to us a few years ago. So this is why uh, our approach and our strategy is somewhat different. We will have some bipartisan leadership as we move forward. And I certainly intend to expend a lot of political capital on this issue because I think it's the right thing at the right time. Let's shift gears now and talk about a thing that will make you smile. That's the tourist development numbers. I mean, announced that a record year, 75 million, million people, which is, I think, a $70 billion impact on this region. But more importantly, with the tourist development tax, a lot of money that goes to key things like the convention center. Absolutely. The tourist development tax revenues that we receive from taxes on people who stay in our hotel rooms uh, is really helping to improve the overall quality of life for uh, all of uh, Orange County. We are able to use a portion of the funds uh, to also support our arts and cultural affairs events here in this community. We are using some of the funds to uh, leverage getting additional sporting events here into the community. But, but then it also pays for venues like the uh, Orange County Convention Center, the Amway Center, the expansion of the Camping World Stadium, and the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center, uh, amongst other things in this community. So uh, we are in a good position because as our tourism numbers continue to increase, it uh, also increases the revenue and the opportunities we have to leverage that revenue to do good for the entire community. And right now we have the second biggest convention center in the country, just a little bit shorter than what it is in Cook County, Chicago, in terms of space. But you want to expand that. You think now is the time to make that even bigger? Now is the time to do it. Uh, we are in the midst of a $605 million expansion at the convention center that will add a new multi-purpose venue that allows us to remain competitive in the convention market space. Uh, over 280,000 new square feet will be added to our convention center uh, as a result of these efforts. In terms of uh, moving forward with this now, how important is it when things are great, the winds that are back now, to save some of that money, knowing that tourism's not always going to be great. There may be a bump in the road where we take some of this money and put it away. Is that possible now? Uh, we have healthy reserves. Yeah. Uh, we are saving some of the funds for the rainy day. Uh, the law requires us to maintain a certain portion of the funds in reserves, and that's the good news that we have here. Uh, but while we are in this uh, high economy, uh, we are seeing construction costs begin to ebb up, and so it's important that we try to get into the market uh, to uh, get the biggest bang for our bucks uh, as we kind of expand now. If we wait, the cost is only going to go up more astronomically. As we've talked a lot over the past, all the way going back to the campaign, affordable housing is a big issue with you, and you've said this is going to be a priority, and you announced recently that uh, there's new developments coming in Pine Hill, something to approach that a little bit. Affordable housing is certainly, we had a critical point here in our community where uh, 110,000 households here believed to be chronically rent stressed, uh, where they're paying more than 30% of their total household income uh, for rent. And that's really not sustainable over time. Uh, a person who would make minimum wage, for example, at $8.45 an hour, will have to. Uh, work a total of 82 hours in a week in order to afford the average cost of an apartment here. That just really isn't sustainable for our families. And so we have a housing for all task force that's looking at various options that we can put in place to deal with this as a community. Uh, some of uh, what we will have to do is uh, create some incentives. We have to change our regulatory approaches, our permitting processes so that those who are building are able to get through our, our uh, regulatory processes much faster so that we can have the product of new housing stock available uh, faster. Another thing you touched on, and this is playing out in so many communities around the country, is the opioid issue. It's a problem here. It's a problem in so many places, as you know from your time as the Orange County Sheriff. I spent 38 years nearly in law enforcement, and we're probably not seen a period of time where the opioid crisis has been any greater. A uh, number of individuals are dying because of their addiction. Uh, many more have other health-related issues because of their addiction and intravenous uh, uh, 
needle usage in our community. So uh, the best way that we can approach that is really from a prevention perspective, we want awareness campaigns to really help people understand why they should not be using drugs. But then we need intervention and treatment systems here. Treatment is very important uh, because we can't really arrest our way out of this. However, law enforcement has to focus on the enforcement strategies and our state attorney and prosecutors have to prosecute drug dealers and hold them accountable for their actions. Last year, uh, the first responders in Orange County administered over 1,500 doses of naloxone and every time they administer a dose uh, they save a life. When you look forward here the next six months, next 12 months, what's most important for you to lead Orange County forward? Uh, during the next uh, six to 12 months, it's dealing with the tremendous uh, growth challenges that we have. I want to make certain that uh, we do have a solution that's right for our community as we deal with the affordable housing crisis that we have here. I want us to be more intentional about a plan to deal with the transportation infrastructure that we need here. Uh, and that will be uh, come much more defined in the very near future. So those at the top of my uh, priorities for the county, but there's a myriad of other issues that we'll deal with from homelessness to other things in the community as well. Finally, we know UCF's coming into downtown, which is such a big part. They also didn't get some of the state money. They've gone through some turmoil there. Are you confident that they're kind of back where they need to be? I mean, it, it, it's been a tough, difficult road for them. The University of Central Florida is absolutely pivotal to, I think, the lifeblood of our community and making certain that we have a ready workforce to be able to meet the growing needs from our technology-focused businesses to our life sciences to even uh, our fiscal services or financial services. UCF is an important ingredient, and I believe that they had a little bump in the road, but uh, they're back focused uh, as they move forward to identify a permanent president. Uh, that's going to be critical uh, to get the right person as we continue to grow as a community. Mayor, always appreciate your time where we can sit down and talk directly to some of the voters out there. Thank you. Thank you very much.